Today, we're gonna look at an advanced setup for OBS using multiple cameras as different sources, as well as someone else's camera through an online video chat platform. So let's get into it. So with today's lesson, we're gonna load up our OBS Open Broadcast Software program. Today, we're gonna to be using what's called a nesting scene. We're gonna dive into it, but a nesting scene is basically you making multiple scenes, and then on any new scene, you can add that scene as a source. We'll jump into it, I'll show you. It gets pretty simple. We start out with our initial camera one scene, and we're gonna add our sources of our first camera. So let's go to sources, hit the plus add source button, go to video capture device and select it next we're going to name this our camera one camera one and hit okay it's going to pull up some options of whatever cameras you have on your computer i'm going to select my main one which is my logitech brio 4k now it's important that you make sure you get your settings right in your camera I like to go down to resolution since this is a 4K camera and put it at 1920 by 1080 resolution right here. And now as you can see, it's a little wider. A minute ago it was more boxed and that's the standard default setting, but we're gonna go ahead and save that and hit okay. So now I've got my main camera scene one here. You can see me inside of OBS, but I have another camera over here and a zoom call set up from my phone. I like to make sure that I lock it and put it in place so that way I don't accidentally drag it for some reason. But you can always drag it back to the middle or try to it at least. And then if you need to, you can hit transform, fit to screen. I like to lock it, it's helpful. Now let's make a scene for our second camera. Let's go to add scene and we'll call this one camera two scene and hit okay as you can see it's empty but i need to add the second camera as a source so we'll go to add source video capture device i'm not going to use camera one i'm going to add a new one and call it camera two and hit okay i'm going to select the camera logitech hd webcam it's a 1280 by 720 it's a little lower in resolution but it does the trick. I'm also gonna make sure I make it more of that wider shot. So I'm gonna go down to resolution, hit custom, then go to the 1280 by 720. And there we are. Let's save this and hit okay. Now this canvas size is a 1920 by 1080. So I need to stretch it to make it fit. I'm gonna right click, hit transform, and hit fit to screen. It'll be a little stretched out, but 1280 by 720 and 1920 by 1080, not too much of a difference when we're just working with these low level cameras. And let's make sure we lock it into place. Lastly, before I get into the nested scene part, I'm gonna make a third camera source that is actually a Zoom call. This is helpful for when you are interviewing somebody on a stream and you wanna have your face and their face. I also like to make sure the audio is off on these so it doesn't have multiple audio sources coming through. So let's make our third scene, which is going to be Zoom Call, and I'm gonna hit OK. Now, let's add a new source, and this time it's different. I'm actually going to be adding a window capture. Now this window is the Zoom window, and I'm gonna hit OK. Now it's going to try and select one for me, which it did, but the capture method sometimes needs to be played around with depending on what platform you have or what operating system. I'm gonna go down to Windows 10. And there I am, right there. I actually have my phone sending a Zoom call to my computer, so I'm using the camera from my phone. I'm gonna uncapture the cursor just in case and hit OK. So now I've got this Zoom call, but it's not really filling the screen. I need to fix that. I have the zoom call all stretched out, but I need to get just this part. So what you can do is you can actually inside OBS, you can hold the alt button, you can go over and you can drag and it will turn green. Okay, I'm holding alt still. I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna grab just this much. I kinda wanna get a rectangle because that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna take a little my, bit of my belly out there. Perfect. I'm gonna let go of Alt, and now I have it set just like that. 
I want to make it full screen. I'm going to go to transform and hit fit to screen. And it fits pretty well. I didn't make a great rectangle, but that's okay. Now I have three camera scenes. Let's go to them each. Camera one, camera two, and camera three, which is a zoom call. Now let's talk about nesting the scenes and trying to get all of these camera angles into one scene. So let's create one more new scene. I'm gonna go down to add a new scene and I'm gonna call this one nested with all three cameras and okay. Now here's where it's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna go down to sources and hit plus and you're not gonna do a video capture you're going to select scene right here. And then I'm going to be able to select one of these scenes. I'm going to opt into selecting camera one scene. And there I am. So this scene is nested with all three cameras. If I go over to camera one scene, it's full. Camera two, camera three, back to here. I didn't have to make a new video source. I'm just using this full scene as a way to pull it into another scene. I'm going to show you an example of how camera one scene relates to this nested scene by showing you studio mode, which is a side by side. And I'm going to go ahead and open camera scene one. And then I'm going to get in there. I'm going to unlock this. And as you'll see on the program side, it's actually moving what's happening in there. In camera one scene, if I were to add a image of a logo and I went and found a logo and hit OK, that logo is inside. I can shrink it down to size. And as you see on the right side, it's translating only to what's in that area that's being used. Pretty cool, huh? Now let me show you the nested scene again. It's over here. I can move it around. As you can see, it's not moving yet because I'm in studio mode and I need to transition. But let's say in this scene, I wanted to add that logo again. And now it's on this scene. And as you can see, if I go over to camera scene one, that's showing up just here. Nested scene, let me transition. Let me get out of studio mode just to make it a little simpler. This is the nested scene, okay? This is where everything is gonna land. It's pulling from camera scene one. And remember, if I go to the nested scene, studio mode, I go back over to camera scene one here and I try to move things around. It moves it around in that little area that I have, that 1920 by 1080 block. Let's go ahead and lock that in, lock that in. Let's get out of studio mode. We're in the nested mode. Let's pull the logo out just so you can see things. I want to put this camera one up here. And now let's add camera two by going to scene. Remember, it's a scene. Click scene, camera two scene, hit okay. And there I am. I'm gonna move this around, change the size. And now in one scene, you can see me from two angles. Now this is helpful for sometimes when you have two cameras for your own stream or broadcasting and you wanna to talk to another camera or maybe you're a gamer and you wanna shoot your keyboard and mouse or your controller totally normal with two cameras inside OBS. For the purpose of shoutcasting, it's good when you have two people in the same room and they're able to be on camera at the same time in one scene. When we get to the Zoom call other camera, that's a good example for having someone in person and having someone at a virtual location you can pull into your stream. So let's do that now, shall we? I'm gonna lock this one in right here. I'm gonna make sure camera one is locked in. And then I'm gonna add in one more scene nested in here of the zoom call and remember the zoom call was cropped out just to pull a little bit zoom call okay and there is the zoom call on my phone right here we're gonna put this a little smaller 
and we're going to put it up in the corner. Let's bring the logo back in. We'll move the logo over here. And there we go. So now in one scene, I have three cameras, one here, a second one here, and a third one here. But remember, this camera is gonna be my main camera. It's my nicest camera. The second one here, I may use for a person that is in the same room or for something else, maybe a second angle because I like to talk and get a wider angle maybe. And this third camera on my phone, let's just say it's a call from someone else who is in a different location and they want to get on the stream as well. Or maybe you're doing a meeting or whatever it may be and you're trying to record. There's lots of options, okay? One other little tip I wanna tell you about is the Zoom call. Sometimes the Zoom call, if you are cropping out the image like we did and something happens like, I'm going to minimize the actual window. Let me show you. I'm going to minimize the actual window. And what happened was it did something funny because I cropped the image. I just cropped the image to be able to not get the siding and other background. Now when I stretch this out, you can see it kind of tries to fill that spot, right? So you've gotta be pretty careful when you are messing around with window capture and you're selecting camera sources because if someone drops out of a call, their arrangement of people is gonna mess up and this is going to mess up as well. So you gotta be really cognizant of what's happening when people are coming in and out of a call. That's why I really recommend other programs kinda of like OBS Ninja, which is a browser-based platform. And instead of cropping an image, it actually sends the information as a browser source link and it never has to be cropped. That's for another video or go check out OBS Ninja. It's a free platform. So that's it. You've got three cameras in one scene. Now you could have just made one scene and added all three cameras as a source, that's totally doable too. But learning how to nest scenes is super important. If you're ever to watch any of my streams, you'll see that I have a lot of stuff happening, a lot of movement and transitions. And the cool thing about OBS is if you switch between scenes and you have a lot of the same sources, they don't have to reload in the new scene. They either move or fade into other spots. So it's real cool if I just wanna do a full camera scene one, a full camera scene two, the zoom call, or all three. And what's fun when you're streaming or you're shoutcasting and using these different scenes to accentuate things or have fun with your stream and your chat or your shoutcasting team, it makes the stream a whole lot more lively. Plus, if you're doing this on your own and you're broadcasting alone from your home or your office, these are really good tips to help you get ahead in the shoutcasting and gaming business. So that's it. Go have some fun, rewind this back, pause it, mess with things and try to get multiple cameras or a zoom call put into your OBS so you could interview somebody if needed. Thanks. So let's get into it. <laughs>